Hi everyone, welcome back, Mighty Diva for a Lifetime. How is everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing well and staying healthy. Happy Saturday morning. This is my Friday weigh-in and I wanted to come in and kind of just have a chit-chat moment. I'm sorry this video, it wasn't up on Friday and this is probably how it's going to go because for me, Saturday mornings is like my day where I can kind of like do what I need to do. So here we are. So how was your first week? So you guys know I'm doing a 100 day challenge. Just staying in it, I need a challenge for myself to kind of like keep me accountable. So as far as my 100 day challenge, I am tracking 30 minutes of workout every single day and I am tracking my calories along with fasting. Now, really quickly, in my channel guys, this channel, I am not perfect. I keep it 100% real, my ups, my downs, and I think that this is exactly what it should be as far as a weight loss journey because nothing is perfect you know i would never come out here and tell you oh everything's perfect you know i had a perfect week and because that's not reality i'm gonna keep it 100 and you know what i eat naughty things i eat chocolate i eat cake i eat ice cream all in moderation and i stick to my calorie goal and i go from there so I have mentioned to you guys last week that I was kind of dabbling on the carbs and all this and it doesn't work for me. You know what? I'm just going to stick to my calorie goal and I'm just going to push forward. Um, I am back to fasting. If you guys have been following me for a while, two years ago, it was the best thing that I could have ever done was adopted the intermittent fasting world. And this week I've been so good with doing my 18 19 hour fast depending on the day and it has been so great my inflammation has definitely come down my sugar cravings have come down a whole lot and just kind of like you know just balancing so as far as this week as far as my let's start with my fitness you guys know that's like my drug of choice on it the whole week was great either I did my own or did some on some YouTube just to kind of switch things up you know and that was great and there was there was one day that I cleaned the house I was like a two-hour thing I didn't work out that day but I count it as active because trust me I burn like 350 calories just cleaning the house and it's not something that you do every single day this is why it counts as activity remember that so it was a great week as far as um, fitness goes. Um, nutrition wise, I Tuesday was a OMG day. I don't know what happened. It was a mental slack big time. And I wanted to come in and talk to you guys really quickly about mental health. Um, I have been putting my mental health on check, especially this past week, because I've noticed how she can't be trusted <laughs> my mind cannot be trusted you know they say safeguard your heart no 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 safeguard your mind because your mind can either be the most powerful tool you use on your weight loss journey or it can be your biggest downfall trust me i've been in it i see it um one thing that i caught myself on tuesday when i had you know that moment of i don't care forget about this and i'm like look square up because you're nonsense you know and i had to like really give myself a reality check like no what are you doing you matter you know what you have to do you know you can't just say screw it this this is not gonna work i had to really put myself in check um no, because I matter, you know, just like I tackle on any other project, you know, that I take very serious, I need to take me serious, you know, so if I give myself a certain goal, certain calorie goal, a certain restriction, I need to follow that for my well, you know, for my well-being and being okay with that, you know, so Tuesday I had a really hard and hard talk, you know, no, definitely protecting my mind, feeding nothing but positivity and you know what? This is why for me, as much as I dislike counting calories, is definitely one thing that has helped me this week fight that inner, you know, beast in me, in my mind that wants me to do something else. And you know what? I'm like, you know what? No, you had your calories. 
you had your junk food guess what it's time to fast you're not hungry you need to cut it out stay busy keep it moving and that has helped me so much to really have that self-discipline with my mind and you know what you need to you need to have that tough love cut the crap you know what i mean just kind of push it forward and is that real you know so it's just moving along this week as far as like my nutrition i really messed up one day which was tuesday saturday was my off day so five days of good tracking really really good i stayed within my calories stuck to my 18 or 19 hour fast and it was great and it showed on the scale last week i was 227 this week i was 225 i'll take it you know and i did a clean slate you know january 1st was a clean slate i didn't care what happened in 2020 i don't care my weigh-ins i don't care about nothing i'm I care about what's happening now and what I'm doing right now. So I reset everything. Um, so started last Friday was January 1st. I was 227. This Friday, I was 225 and pushing forward. Um, definitely trying to stick to my, you know, 19, 18 hour window, depending on my day and pushing forward. You know, I believe that having that balance is super important, but keep it real. You're the realest member on your team. And if you need to have that one-on-one -on -one talk where you're like, let's go, then you need to. You know what I mean? For the simple fact that you need to fight for you because no one is going to fight for you. Not even your mind if you don't train it right. That's just the way that goes. It's just, it's a battle. It's a battle from each direction. So make sure that you are fighting the battles that need to be fought. You know what I mean? And guess what? Yes. So I have been tracking. I've been tracking and doing so well. I'm super excited as far as that goes because that helps my mental state. So my mind's like, Mari, you're hungry. You're starving. What are you doing to yourself? I can say, nope, stop it. I know I fed you. You had your snacks. You had everything. Now it's time to let your body heal and do what it needs to do. That's super important, you know? And once you put all that into perspective, then we get to push forward, you know? So taking it one day at a time divas is super important you know i am definitely grateful for all the divas you know that commented on my last video and i definitely want to shout out some divas because i think it's super important and let's see so we have of course we have Catherine s she's a diva she knows she's we've been doing this forever she's does amazing um she's lost so much weight she was way over 200 now she's under 100 and i think 80 something she's doing amazing and she's a nurse so she's uh, awesome we have rock p fit um she wasn't doing too well we'll keep we'll keep you know her in our prayers she says she's doing a lot better this week um blue bonnet 101 that's a diva for a uh, hot minute um we have changing chris she's a new diva she's doing amazing as well i'm um, sister on a mission she is doing amazingly sunshine blue i mean these are divas that have been with me for such a long time um and if i miss anyone i apologize this is just the stuff that's given me you know like right away but we're in this together you're not alone at all you know i am mostly on instagram I am um, Diva Fit over 40. Check me out. I'll, you know, I'll link it down below. If you have any questions, reach out. If you're feeling, you know, down or what, reach out. You know, this is what we're here for. And you're not alone. Plain and simple, you're not alone. So with that said, no more rambling. Two pounds down. Hope everyone has an amazing week. God bless and we will see you soon.